Cubs. And we take a look at Tony Gonsolin through 15 starts this year. He's given up 14 earned runs in those 15 starts and historically good first half of the season. He's pitching from another world. It's really amazing what he is doing, and he's doing it so consistently. So it'll be Rafael Ortega to start it off. Ortega climbs in that left side. Dodgers play the shift. On a 2-2, Ortega pops it into shallow center field for Cody Bellinger. And the first out of the night. Nico Horner hitting a solid 302. Horner goes up to get this high fastball. Hits it to deep center field, but not deep enough. Ian Happ steps in. Tony Gonsolin delivers. Here's a line drive toward right base hit over Lux. Soft line drive. Lux was playing a full 40 feet beyond the infield dirt in shallow right, leaping. He could not make the catch. It's a two out single for Happ, and it brings up Seiya Suzuki. There goes Hap. Gonsolin spots him and ends the inning. Well, the Cubs aggressive on the base pass. Hap runs into an out here. Bottom of the first inning, Mark Leiter Jr. Season record of two and two. His father, Mark, a big league pitcher. His uncle, Al Leiter, a very prominent big league pitcher for a long time. So it's going to be Mookie Betts leading it off. Betts with the walk off such that it was last night. And Betts with a long shot to left. And back to the wall, it is gone. So he had a 50-foot walk-off dribbler last night. And in his first at-bat tonight, he's given the Dodgers a one to nothing lead. Betts home run number 19. For Mookie Betts, his fifth game off the injured list. He's 6 for 17 with a couple of home runs. Well, the guy who ended last night's game begins this one. Four-seam fastball, first pitch for a ball. Four-seam fastball for a strike. Mookie doesn't miss it. Trey Turner steps in. Turner serves into the right center field. Vox puts the gap. Double for Betts, or Homer for Betts, double for Turner. And quite a start for the Dodgers against Leiter. It's first four hitters. They can give you nightmares on how to relax and go into a start. You better leave the bullpen ready to go because Mookie Betts, Trey Turner, Freddie Freeman, and then Will Smith, they're going to put it on you if you are not accurate and locked in. A fast start. Freddie Freeman stepping in at 301 this year. 10 home runs and 50 runs batted in. Swing and a line drive, one hop. Horner gobbles it up and throws out Freddie Freeman and Turner. Stays put at second. Under it second, one away for Will Smith. Will Smith, first pitch swinging, popped him up. Simmons wandering out. And in shallow right makes the catch. That's a big out against the dangerous hitter. Brings up Max Muncy. Here's a 2 2. Swing and a miss, struck him out. And Leiter pitches around the double by Turner. But the damage done, Betts goes deep, end of one, it's one nothing. Trace Thompson's been a key component as the bottom of the order has been good lately. And the series against the Rockies had the game-winning home run on Monday night. Corks one down the line, over Wisdom into the corner. And he's certainly justifying his place in the majors these days. Two out double, Trace Thompson. Well, he got to this pitch and this double because he took a changeup. They tried to speed him up twice with fastballs in and then went to the changeup thinking they're going to get him out. He took it with good discipline, made him throw another fastball, this one out away from him, and then he can extend those great long arms. Second inning still going. Here's Gavin Lux, nine hitter for the Dodgers. On a 1 0 from Leiter. Lux turns on a ball. Dodgers have a three to one lead for Lux, his third home run of the year, a two run shot. Home runs always sit together. That's right. It's a club. Can't get in without a home run. First out of the fourth, and Justin Turner coming up. High fly ball, deep center field. Morrell to the track, turns and watches it go. Justin Turner to the big part of the yard. Third Dodger home run of the game. Justin Turner continues his relentless air. His eighth home run of the year, he's knocked in 45. Third home run of the Dodgers tonight, and they've got a 4-0 lead. And Rivas leads from first, and now Morrell coming up. The 3-2. That's drilled, left field. If it's fair, it's trouble. Down the line, and that one is gone. Morrell crushes one inside the left field foul pole, and the Cubs right back in it. 
A lot of Cub fans making noise for Morrell, his ninth of the year, and it is 4 2. And he'll face a new pitcher, hard throwing righty, Bruce Stark Gratterall. Oh, Nathan Lucero, the trainer's coming out to look at Gratterall. I don't know what it is. If it's lower body, you worry about them favoring that, and then it goes up your body and hurts your arm. If it's your arm, you worry about that immediately. Max Muncy said to Dave Roberts, cramp. Mm -hmm. He's cramping up there. Whatever it is, it's enough where he's going to leave the game. As the Dodgers hit in the bottom of the eighth with a 4-2 lead. Betts one for two, including a leadoff home run. High for a ball center field. Morrell going back. Mookie back second of the game. Now has 20 on the year. And the Dodgers lead 5-2. Ninth inning now, and Craig Kimbrell needed just five pitches to go one, two, three in the top of the ninth last night, setting the stage for the Dodger walk-off win. Out there looking for a save. Swing and a slicing line drive out into center field, and Ian Happ keeps this one alive. Base hit, Happer's second of the night. You never know. Seiya Suzuki coming up. Now, if he can get on, then Patrick Wisdom with a lot of power would be the tying run. 3-2. In the air right field. Shallow. Betts coming on. Coming on. Dives and he can't get it. Here comes Happen to score. Suzuki into second. An RBI double for Say and it's 5-3. And Patrick Wisdom who has home it against Kimbrell. And has one meeting against him. It's on the way. Inside he walked in. Well, what an excellent plate appearance that was by Wisdom. Now, sure, you would have liked to have seen him hit one about 450 yeah. feet, but he did everything he possibly could, Ron, to keep the Cubs alive, and that's what he did. And now he's the tying run at first. Well, and that'll bring out Dave Roberts. They have a lefty throwing in the bullpen. Tying run at first, go ahead run at the plate. Two gone in the ninth inning. And so it's Alex Vestia. David Ross will counter with the rookie Nelson Velasquez. Here comes a 3 2. Strike 